Hey there, so this is the mail mold demo. Uh, I kind of wanted to talk through a run of it and try to improve my PB for it, so we'll see how this goes. So, first important thing is just mashing during the uh, the intro uh, as the screen's fading to black. If you do that, it actually allows you to uh, skip the entire intro cinematic, so this is actually the second cinematic you get where you're brought to here in this little bit of a tutorial. So you end up saving about 30 seconds doing that. Oh, I got it. You can uh, input a dash as you land. It does literally nothing, but it makes a little dashing sound. So it's kind of funny. Anyways, so this is the tutorial, like I said. The main thing is dashing, but you only dash after you land from a jump. So you can charge up your, your jump during a dash to make it uh, go longer. There we go. So we skipped a couple bits of dialogue there by doing some weird pathing. There's no real way that I saw to skip this dialogue. I tried going around the fence on the outside and and trying to get around this dialogue, but the the box for what triggers it seems to be pretty large, so unfortunately you do have to talk through this. So, tutorial is pretty, pretty set at this point. Last run I did, I saved about 50 seconds on it compared to the original way I was doing it. Either way, so this is Charmy Farm. Uh, first level is Farmy Plaza. Pretty basic level. Mostly just maintaining your dashes. I say as I don't do that. <laughs> it's kind of hard on... Uh, inclines and ramps and stuff like that, because sometimes it'll eat your jump. Use the shadow there just to make sure your ground padding on the right place. Just do a big jump to kind of give yourself a lot of... That's interesting. I didn't mean to break those, but it helped a little bit. But each of these ones we ground pound. Ground pounding isn't used very much unless the game forces you to. That's unfortunate, that's unfortunate, that's unfortunate. Uh, ground panic isn't used very much. Uh, actually, it's only used in this level, I believe. At least intentionally. Unintentionally, maybe it'll be used a few times. So I'll be behind by a second or so, but it's okay. Uh, the uh, ground pound. Uh, you need to be a certain height above what you're ground pounding to actually let you put in the ground pound. So if you do mess up the height on it, you can just bounce off the button and it gives you enough height. But, uh, unfortunately, we just kind of missed it by by a little bit. I changed up how I do the how I do the level, so uh, I'm not used to approaching it from from there. But yeah, so each time you finish level, you get a power cell. There's a category for getting all power cells uh, that I've run as well, though. I'd, Need to optimize that a little bit better because there's new stuff for the tutorial and generally i just need to clean up the run a little bit but that can probably be about 19 20 minute run but this run will be closer to like eight and a half minutes this is sliding fast sliding fast is probably the easiest level um each level uh, you can get gold silver or bronze for based on how fast you do it and uh, this one, probably the easiest one just to get without really knowing what you're doing. <laughs> you just want to hit the boost and you don't really need to jump and dash and chain those together. Uh, it really just as long as you hit the boost pads. Because normally when you walk without dashing, you go very slowly. Uh, though in this section it's much preferable. So. Going to get ourselves over to here. Watch yourself. It's pretty much always 40 seconds. Actually, it's pretty much always 40 seconds. Well, off 0.3 to like small movement-ish stuff, but it's still 40 seconds for both of them. But Carrot Ranch is where I can save the most time. Carrot Ranch in the boss fight. Um, but there's not too much to talk about for sliding fast. Carrot Ranch has some interesting skips to it. 
I'll try to explain them though. Last time I had to focus a decent bit. So basically we just need to, it's very cycle based in some ways and in other ways you can skip certain cycles. So the cycles we skip are, are kind of the interesting parts of it, but the, uh, whoops. Sorry, I'm used to splitting on choosing that for the tutorial. Anyways, um, but yeah, just getting your speed and continuing because at the very beginning of this level, I don't think it actually it does drop you from pretty high. I think maybe not. I don't remember. Yeah, it does. Okay. Some levels drop you from very low. Uh, I didn't get my jump. Take it slow there. Make sure we don't fall down. That loses you a bunch of time. The last go I know definitely didn't happen last run, so just get on this. This is the first skip. Just launching across there instead of doing all the uh, platforming. Same thing with this. Instead of waiting on the platforms, you can just jump across there. You can get 29 on this. Got 32, but it's much better than my PB did it. So. Still a little sloppy, but... We can clean it up. But the two skips for that are kind of the interesting part. Uh, in general, I think it's one of the better... It's it's the best level in the any percent run. Um, and generally, it's a pretty good speedrunning level because it's got a lot of skips, but it's a lot of maintaining your momentum as well. So the bonus worlds unlocks here, but we can't access them yet because uh, we have to fight the boss, but in any percent we don't need to access them. Basically the, the goal of any percent is to access the thanks for playing demo pop-up. Um, That's as close as we get to an ending in the demo, so we do that. Though there, it does pop up twice. It pops up once when you do what I would call the any percent run and this pops up a second time when you collect all the power cells. Heck, that was a really dumb choice. No reason to dash there. Just walk here and make sure you have enough speed. That's unfortunate. I mean, we can still save time on the boss fight. I don't think we get 8.30 now. Nice. Getting that last jump, the right height, or just making sure to charge that last jump is important. That's fine. That was really good, actually. It's a good boss fight. I didn't think the last jump was going to make it onto the button. I couldn't ground pound immediately, but it made it at least onto the button so I could skip off of it and do a ground pound, so not too bad. Be an 840 something, probably. Wow, I went right to him. Nice. Okay. 838 is pretty good. Uh, Cat Ranch could have been a little bit better. So good for Army Plaza, but it's alright. That's, that's probably a pretty good time for now. Uh, I want to focus on this game a little bit more. Uh, once it fully comes out, I think it'll be a really good speedrunning game. I think the movement's really nice. I think the routing's interesting and the skips are cool. I think you can get really good at it and, and really show off and do some good stuff with it. So hopefully uh, the demo is free if you want to try running it. It's definitely pretty accessible. Um, and there's some, some wiggle room with finding routing for certain things. And, and generally I think it's just fun to play. So. The game is meant to come out autumn 2020, which technically is still happening until December 21st for some reason. I didn't know that was when autumn ends, but I guess it does. But anyways, so definitely give this a shot if it looks interesting. Um, but I'll definitely be running this next year uh, after AGDQ if the, the rest of the game is as good as the demo. 